up everyone? So you may have noticed that I'm not in the usual location. That's because I'm running some prints in there. It's super noisy. So we're just gonna do it here. This video is to show you how to assemble this piece. It took about 10 hours to print in total. Not a lot of material, maybe about 120 grams. It's a quick print and I originally designed it to showcase the difference between spur gears and chains, but it kind of took on a little bit of a life of its own. So this is what we got. Let's get right to it. I'm Jay, this is JBV Creative. Let's create. So the assembly is really simple. Everything just snaps together. The files are available on my website. The link is in the description below. And all you have to do is just drop all the parts into the slicer, arrange them however you'd like, but everything is already oriented and all the quantities of everything is already there. So just drop it in the slicer, hit print, and I'll see you when you're done printing. The first thing we're gonna do is assemble the base. So take this Y piece, that's just gonna pop into this base, push it in. Now grab your crank piece and this knob. The knob goes into the back of the crank, so the side that doesn't have the shaft coming out of it. C-clamp that into place. And that will go into this hole right in the middle of the Y. Now you can grab your big gear. That will slide onto the shaft of the crank with the little spacer facing the base. Now you can slide your sprocket onto that shaft. Make sure everything is pushed into place and then you can throw a C-clamp on the end of that. Sweet. Grab the two small gears with the little shafts coming out of them. Those go into these holes, the first two holes on this right arm of the base. You can C-clamp those into place. Now grab the shaft with the smaller circular section. That goes in through the back of the base in the top hole. And then you can pop this small spur gear with the hex spacer facing the base. Push it all the way down. Now grab this longer of the two hexagon spacers that will slide onto the shaft. And then you can pop one of the fans onto the end and C-clamp it into place. On the other side, we're gonna use the other shaft with the long circular section. That will go into the hole on the other arm. Now you can take your small sprocket with the hex that will slide onto the end of that shaft. Grab the other spacer that slides onto the end of that. And then the other fan section will go onto the end of that shaft and C-clamp that into place. So now you're gonna take your chain segments and you're gonna have to break them into a chain depending on how they print. I've already pre-broken mine, which is why they're already flexible. And you can pop one end into the other just like that. Do that for the third segment of links as well. And then you can wrap this around the small sprocket and around the big sprocket. And then connect them in the center. And boom, that's it. Now you have yourself a working gear versus chain fan. But I did add one fun thing to this because I wanted to use a drill to work it in so it was moving more smoothly. So that's where this piece comes in. And I got my drill right here. So to use the drill adapter, just take out the C-clamp in the middle, pop the hand crank out, and then you can pop the drill adapter in, C-clamp the end of that, and now you can attach this to a drill. And it's actually super cool watching this thing move really quickly. There it is. Thank you guys so much for purchasing the download and following along this video. There may be a video explaining more about the details of this piece, about why chains and gears can be used in different situations. So if you're interested, subscribe, stay tuned for that, and I'll see you there.